I'm very happy that all of us are here, are here today um, to dedicate a piece of art uh, that I'm very excited about. We'll talk about a little bit. Uh, but first, I want to ma uh, welcome Mayor Jane Egley. Be proud. Uh, and what I believe in and what we're about to see uh, blew my mind when I really heard what uh, Randy was trying to do. So um, I, ju I jumped in. And about two months ago, uh, I joined a small team uh, determined to get the Waterman's Wall up. And so what uh, we did is we set a date, which is today's date that you're standing here looking at me and soon to be the wall. And so we need to work backwards from that date. We have a uh, hospitality night coming up and we want to get it done before then. And can we, can we get it done by the 29th? So uh, I'll have you know that Randy was here until about an hour and a half ago finishing the mural. So brother, we did it, we got it done, so great job. And uh, one of the things that most impressed me and got me excited about this uh, opportunity is this is a gift from the citizens of Laguna Beach to the citizens of Laguna Beach. It's privately funded, uh, and it's people like me and people, many people that uh, are listed on the board here that decided this was a, a great investment in our uh, community. It speaks to who we are as, a, a, as native Lagunas and, and new Lagunans, and so um, it, it's really been a group effort. Um, the donations have not only been in, in terms of funds, money coming in, but also networking, making key connections, labor support, and a lot of emotional support for a guy that's been thinking about this project for three years. It's really a, a labor of love, and uh, we're so happy that we've got to this point. And um, I will let Randy talk more about the Waterman's Wall, but uh, for now, I'm happy to but well, let me just say something about Randy, then I'll introduce him there. Um, so Randy is a, um, he is a, a, a typical artist. He's very passionate. Uh, he has visions, and uh, he is committed to getting pieces of work done. Like many artists, um, they're not well-funded. They struggle with how to get from point A to point B, but what's in their mind is what is brilliant. And so um, in us working with Randy, that's really what we support, supported him for and believed in. Randy has done work for Disney, the Philharmonic Center, Long Beach Aquarium, City of Buckland, to name a few, and we are very um, honored to have his work uh, here in Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach. Thank you, Clay. Thank you very much. Uh, I follow up with what Clay has said, is that this is Laguna. Just look around. And it's so exciting to have the citizens of Laguna contribute to the citizens of Laguna. And this is what this project is about. You know, what we hear to see here is the reason it's Laguna is, number one, it's the arts. It applauds the arts. And that's one of our core values. And we praise the protectors of the ocean. And you're going to see some of that and hear one of those here today. So that's what Laguna Beach is about. And we cheer our watermen, our surfers, our swimmers, our paddle boarders, our skim boarders, our people sitting on the beach. We applaud all of those. Thank goodness for our beautiful ocean, for those who protect it and those who paint about it. And we need to bow to our donors. You'll see many listed here. And Clay and Delphine uh, Berryhill, thank you very much to pull the string to open this up. So hold on a minute, get your cameras ready. Randy?
just take a few minutes to ooh and ah, and now all of you, we're going to have to have a cop on these corners now, because I know you're all going to drive by slowly every day to see this fabulous mural. And it's my pleasure to have the artist come up, Randy Morgan. I wake up every morning and I, uh, you've heard this a thousand times, but I'm really, I, I don't know if I'm dreaming or I'm, or I'm awake or it's a dream or something. So, anyway, I wake up every morning and I wonder if I'm dreaming because I'm being able to put this mural up on the wall. It's, um, let me just tell you a little bit about the, about the wall. It's a classic old world style bar relief sculpture in the bronze look. Um, my inspiration for it was, as you know, to honor the watermen and our ocean culture here in Laguna Beach. Um, some of the people that I chose as a vision for the wall when I started to do it, I started out with my friend Dick Johnson. Actually, I met with Mark Klosterman, who's actually in the library yeah. tower. I put some skimmers, um, Texans, uh, the skimmer guy, Alyssa Schwartzstein, our high school coach, and the uh, world surfing champion. Uh, and uh, I used a division for Chris Anderson for uh, the skimboarder. That's a winning uh, world championship. I put uh, my buddy Ian Carnes uh, as the paddle surfer. And I started this thing three years ago with Mark. Um, SUP and paddling was just starting, so these were things that were added later. I hope everybody doesn't mind. Um, the surfers on the other side are, are the surfing scientist, uh, Charlie Dunlop. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, um, my buddy that I surfed with many times in the 70s, who, who's an unknown surfer that you guys don't know, uh, Jeff Ross. Um, and then of course we use the icon of uh, Hobie himself and Lori, the tandem surfer. I mean, Last but not least, uh, James Cooper, the Echo Warrior, and Tommy Donnelly. I was going to forget you, Tommy, I love you. Tommy Donnelly is a paddle surf, I mean, a, a stand up surfer, I mean, a stand up paddler. And then uh, I used our icon, uh, our historical landmark, Seal Rock, with all the little sea lions. And uh, I put the boat of John Cunningham, who started the Friends of the Sea Lion. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the teacher of the high school and awesome lifeguard waterman. And, uh, you know, why these guys and why not 50,000 other guys that are equally just as awesome watermen? You know, for every one of these guys that's up there, there's 10,000 watermen. And uh, the surfers right here, uh, that Brooks Street, I forgot the same thing about is Jeff Booth on second read and Mike Parsons on third read. Yeah. Anyway, in the piece of just a creative piece that evoked the feeling in the um, in the viewer of Laguna that just says Laguna when you look at the piece, you just say Laguna off. So um, um, I just love I just love it when we're putting it up and the two weeks we've been putting up, everybody's been driving by and honking their horns and really giving a lot of support. Um, I want to thank the city of Laguna Beach for bearing with me for three years when it stopped, it started, it stopped, it started. Um, I want to thank Mark Christie for donating the wall. I won't go on and on. Um, I'm sure you want to hear from Mark Christie now, so thank you very much. Nice turnout. Hey, uh, thanks for coming. Randy, thanks for keeping it relatively short. <laughs> I'm amazed. You know, I'm, I'm very, very impressed. Um, when he thanks Greg and when he thanks uh, Clay and Delphine, uh, I mean, literally, if he stood here and I stood here and we all stood here for, for weeks at a time, it wouldn't be thanking them enough. They were amazing uh, getting this up here. So I, I got to say, as a, guy who, as a guy who grew up in Laguna, you know, we've always had, we've got the festival, we've got the Sawdust Festival, we've got iconic things that, that celebrate the artists in town. And it's really cool for, you know, a lot of us out here in the audience. Uh, I mean, I see so many faces that, you know, I spent 
thousands of hours on the beach with, to have something that finally celebrates the heritage, the water culture heritage, and as far as the images selected here, I think, you know, Randy just nailed it. I mean, Cunningham, John Cunningham's out there. Uh, Westgard, you gotta be kidding. So it, it's just, I mean, Stouffer's heritage, and all, it, it's just very, it's just, it's an honor for us to have this on the building. And, um, and I, I gotta say, just, I, there, I had my doubts. And I had my doubts, and, and thank, thank goodness for Clay and, 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 and you know the people that came in and, and helped guide you through. But I mean, your vision never wavered, and, and uh, you know I am impressed. This is a beautiful and iconic piece, and we are literally thrilled and honored to have it here, and, and look forward to seeing it here for decades to come. It's pitching.